Hello, everyone. It's a good accounting practice for accounting managers that you set a deadline for your employees for each month's transactions to be completed on a certain date. For example, the deadline for the prior month's transactions is every 10th of the current month. After that 10th of the month, when all transactions are entered and reconciled, the accounting manager will set up a closing date and password so that the transactions for the previous months can't be edited anymore by the employees. But if there is really a valid reason to edit a transaction, then the accounting manager can override the closing date by putting in her password. So let's try. We go to edit and then preferences. And then the first option, which is accounting, company preferences. And then I will click set date and password. The closing date is September 30th. And then I will put in a password. I will click OK, and then I will click No for now, and click OK. Let's try to create a transaction. I will click Enter Bills, and then the date is September 29, which is before the closing date. For repairs, 5,000. I will click Save and New. So this is the prompt that we will get if a closing date and password has been set up. But if you are the accounting manager and this transaction is really valid, then you can just put in your closing date password and then click OK. Save anyway. So this transaction will be entered after you put in your closing date password. For more QuickBooks tutorials, tips, and tricks, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you!